Welcome to our on-demand training for the Environmental Screening Tool, or EST. This training is provided by the Florida Department of Transportation, Office of Environmental Management. The demonstration for the Area of Interest, or AOI, dashboard is performed on our testing server using test accounts as well as fake projects and documents. No real data is transmitted to users. Now let's log in and get started. On the ESC login page, type your username and password. If you've forgotten your password, click the Forgot Password button and you will be prompted to enter your username and email address. Click Sign In and the ESC homepage is displayed. There are two ways to access the AOI dashboard. Use the left hand menu and click Area of Interest. Or, if you're on the ESD homepage, use the AOI Dashboard Quick Link found on the right side of the page. The blue box at the top of the dashboard displays information for creating or modifying an AOI, as well as how to view AOI details. I'll go into these in more detail, beginning with Create or Modify AOI. The information presented under this heading provides brief instructions for opening the Map Viewer and getting started with the AOI Editor tool, as well as a link to view printable help documentation to guide you through creating or editing an AOI. I'll open the Map Viewer and briefly discuss the AOI Editor tool. Click the globe icon in the upper right of the EST. The Map Viewer opens in a new tab and the magnification is defaulted to the state level. On the left side of the Map Viewer in the Tools panel, the AOI Editor tool is displayed. Click on the blue header to collapse or expand the tool. Within the AOI Editor tool, click the appropriate button to create a new or open a previously created AOI. For more information creating or editing an AOI in the Map Viewer, Click a link to view the printable help documentation or watch a training video. Return to the dashboard by clicking the appropriate tab in your internet browser. Now that I'm back on the AOI dashboard, the remaining information in the blue box highlights additional features of the dashboard and the table displayed below. AOIs that have not yet expired and AOIs that have expired within the past 90 days are automatically displayed in the table. Specify which expired AOIs to display in the table by selecting an option from the dropdown that would include AOIs that expired in the last 90 days, 180 days, the last year, or all expired AOIs followed by the submit button. The table includes various functionality features such as selecting the number of entries to display, sorting columns in ascending or descending order, searching or filtering columns, ClearSafe Search will clear any sort, filter, or search criteria that was used on the table, change which columns to display or hide using the Column Visibility button, Copy the data to your clipboard or download an Excel or CSV file. If applicable, navigate to additional entries using the previous, next, or number buttons below the table. In the table, click an AOI name to reveal a menu. Currently active AOIs include the following options. AOI details, view on map, Edit on Map, and Extend. I'll start with AOI Details. Click this option and the AOI Details page will open. The AOI Details page includes links to geospatial analysis reports and hard copy maps that have been generated for the AOI. Click on a header to expand this section and reveal the available reports or maps. Return to the dashboard by clicking Area of Interest in the left-hand menu. The next option is to view on map. This opens the map viewer in a new tab and loads a read-only view of the AOI. 
Edit on Map opens the Map Viewer and loads the AOI for editing. Use the AOI Editor tool to perform any necessary edits. Extend the AOI expiration date for up to one year by entering the number of days in the field and clicking the Extend button. Expired AOIs include the same options as active AOIs, excluding the option for extending. Instead, enter the number of days in the field and click the Restore button to reactivate the AOI for a set duration. I hope you found the demonstration helpful. You can find more detailed videos and guidance in the EST Handbook page under Help. Additionally, page-specific information is available on the top menu bar. If you do not have access to the EST yet, you can find the videos on the OEM website located at the address shown on the screen. If you have any questions or need assistance while using the AOI tool, please contact us at the OEM Help Desk. You can find our contact information at the bottom of the EST pages or under Help on the Map Viewer.